my PlayStation 2 wish list. Buckle up and let's go. Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my PlayStation 2 wish list. Okay, uh, first thing you probably noticed, we're over the other end of my games room. So I wanted to sit in front of my beloved PlayStation 2 collection. I've just done a count. I think I've got bang on, or there or thereabouts, 200 games for my PlayStation 2. I think that's the most games um, out of all my collections. I've got the most games for the PlayStation 2 out of every other console, okay? And I've got a list. <laughs> got a list of games I need in my collection before I consider it complete. No, I'm not going for a complete collection. There's no point because there's so many games I'll never play. Every game in my collection I've either played or I fully intend on playing. Okay, so all these games on my list, I some of them I had back in the day, but the majority of them I haven't actually played. All right, um, the we're looking at it's quite a pricey um, system to collect for. You can get a load of the 50 pence, the one pound games. I've already got pretty much all my, the, the cheap games, okay? Because because they're cheap doesn't mean they're bad games by any means, okay? But I think the cheapest game on my list, oh, and I've done it a little bit different today, a bit more organized, you might say. I've gone in price order from most expensive to cheapest. So my cheapest game is six pound, okay? And a lot of these games are quite rare. I don't see them out in the wild. And I get my prices from CEX. It's the only or the fairest way I think I can do it. I might get a better deal on eBay on some of the games. But some of the games might be more expensive on eBay because they're rare. And CEX might not have them in stock. But I'm just using CEX kind of as my my database or my guides that's where i get my guide price from if that makes any sense okay guys um i've got actually got two put that over there so i got the screenshots on my ipad okay i've got two of which i was gonna add but uh i can't really justify it if i see them for a good price I will add them. So I just want to talk briefly about these two games, okay? So you got the King of Fighters 98. Ultimate match. Says with manual. Is £150, okay? And the reason I'm not really going to go for that is because... Number one, I've got that game. I've got the Orochi Saga version in my collection sealed i got the orochi saga digital so i got that king of fighters 98 on digital installed on my playstation 5 i've got um not final edition what was the one before final edition which is considered the best version because it's got the 3d backgrounds um, i've got that installed on my playstation 5 so it's silly to spend anywhere near 150 pounds on a game that I've already got. That's silly, silly Tony. Unless I win the lottery, that wouldn't be my collection, okay? And quite similar to this, Raiden 3 is currently £90 um, for the physical PS2. I'm pretty sure that is... I think I've actually... There's a slim chance my brother's buying me that for christmas but it's the playstation 4 version and i think it's on like a collection like uh raiden 3 and 4 or something like that and it's something like 25 pounds so um yeah i'd love to have those two games in my collection but no i will still consider my collection complete without those two games it's silly silly uh silly tony all right so starting off then these are the ones i will get in my collection i'm almost kicking myself uh, for not picking this up before, is God Hand. Okay, it's a Capcom game. 
the reason I'm almost kicking myself is because it was in my hand. On my birthday last year, uh, I went to London. I went to Comic on on the Saturday. My birthday was actually on the Sunday. So I had loads of spending money, like birthday money, okay? So I visited, I think I did three CXs in one weekend. I forget the the name of the CX. It's by Hyde Park, but there's probably because Hyde Park is so big. There's probably a load of CXs just off there, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I was in there and they noticed the guys in there would give me great customer service. So shout out to that CX in London. You're doing a great job, and they noticed I was like in my retro collecting. I was buying a few games, and the guys behind the till just said, "Oh." God, God hand just got traded in and it was £60 and they said oh you might like that and they were showing me these other games and the one I was thinking about buying was God hand was £60 and it was complete in box uh, as well I had Manuel in there and I said nah I'll get that again I thought it would to come down in price but as you can see it's gone up to £70 oh, £10 a lot of money in my world okay so that's the most expensive game uh, on the PS2 that I need in my collection to consider it complete. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, Neo Contra is £55. Uh, I think I might be muddling these. There's two Contra games I want on the PlayStation 2. Okay, I think Neo Contra is the one almost top down. It's not actually like top down, but at an angle. Um, it kind of reminds me to know on Pro Protector that we grew up, we didn't have Contra 3 here in the UK, we had Pro Protector. Uh, one of my favourite games on the Super Nintendo, but I think it was level 2 or was it level 3 where it was top down, but it's like the whole game seems like it's inspired by that level and I really like the look of it and it's £55. I think it didn't review that well, but... I've always had my eye on it. I've always wanted to play it. So £55, uh, I need that in my collection, okay? Uh, oh, no, this this has been in my wish list since I, for six or seven years, since I got back into retro game collecting, or maybe six years. Um, it's just Castlevania on the PS2. It's currently £42. And when I put it in, I didn't used to do screenshots. I just had them all typed in, in uh, like in a word not a word document like a, a notes thing on my iphone and it was 20 pound back then and it's more than doubled in price like most of the games are going up in price aren't they um it gives me devil may cry vibes there's a lot of games on my list actually um that look like a spin-off of devil may cry and that's the vibe i get or maybe god of war uh kind of vibe as well so yeah, Castlevania, £42. I think those games are just going to keep rising and rising. So if I've got money in my pocket or in my bank account and I see that game and I've got it in my hand, as long as it's not silly money, I'm going to buy that game, okay? Because it's a, it's a tough one to get, that is, okay? Uh, now, this one's actually dropped in price recently. Is Steambot Chronicles. This is another one uh, I've had on my wish list on my radar if you like i've never seen it since i've been into retro collecting uh, it's currently 42 pounds now we were gonna go to bristol probably two months ago and it was 48 pounds i just got a good memory when it comes to i can forget everything else but i can when it comes to like anything to do with fighting games or prices of retro games i i just remember everything but we they were showing it in bristol and me and my imaginary friend chris shout out my imaginary friend chris we were going to go to bristol but there's just pray for us here in wales south wales the trains they're always on strike i don't know what is going on and if they're not on strike they're cancelling trains um oh it's a, it's a shambles you can't organize a day out anywhere if you if the train is involved um yeah um you just forget it so uh, we were going to go to bristol and that was one of the games i was going to pick up and it was it was 48 pound there and i'd have been a bit gutted because that's come down to 42 pound now but again it's one of those games i've never seen um yes five or five games I think they did, um, I can't see it now, is it Nino Kuni 2, 505, uh, I haven't got my binoculars on, 
Never mind, never mind. I think, yeah, 505, I think. Or was it level 5? I might be getting confused. But it's an RPG. I've always had my eye on this game. Um, I think I saw a playthrough. Someone did a playthrough or something on it. Maybe one of these big American YouTubers. And I thought, that looks really cool. So, I've always had my eye on that. That's £42. Now, this one, Samurai Aces. Okay. It's got a really cool cover. Hope you agree. Oh, this is 505 Games as well. Um, but this one might... It's on my list now. Because it's a reasonable price, £40. But I'm pretty confident this is on my wish list on the PlayStation Store. So you can buy a digital version. It's actually a shmup. A really bonkers, magic like flying samurais with shooting abilities and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is forty quid. It's some. It's miles, miles cheaper. It's something like fifteen ninety nine, I think, around about that ballpark. So if I'm patient, I can probably pick it up for under ten pound digital. I do want a physical. But um, it's one of those things. If I see it and I've got the money good to go, I'm going to buy it, okay? That's £40. Uh, Gradius 2 and... Sorry, Gradius 3 and 4 is £38. Um, I'm not sure if they're on the PlayStation Store as well. I need to look. Like, I know for a fact Samurai Aces is, is. You can get a digital. But I'm not sure. So, same kind of... Uh, scenario if i see it and i got the money good to go yes i'll be it'll be coming home with me but i might have to go the digital route on that one okay but that 38 pounds seems really good value because you are getting two games okay in there for the price of one on gradius five is 35 pound i'm not sure maybe there is it's a shame if there isn't um like a gradius collection so you've got all of the games on one collection but they're just great fun games, aren't they? All these shmups. Proper arc arcade shmups, the way they should be. Uh, next is another Contra game. Contra Sh Shattered Soldier. Say that 97 times in the mirror. And my dog Rossi will appear. And he will bark at you. <laughs> Sorry, random. Yeah, uh, so Contra Shattered Soldier. God, I can only just about say it. Uh, that's £35. This one is very similar looking to... Gameplay looking to, again, Contra 3 or Pro Protector. It'll always be Pro Protector for me because that's what we grew up with here in the United Kingdom. Um, but it's got, like, much better graphics. Uh, I think this one looks better. If I could choose between this one and the other Contra game, which is more expensive. If someone said you can pick, you know, have them for free, I'm picking this one over the other one, even though that one is, how much is it? Um, £35. No, that's this one. Uh, oh, Neo Contra is £55. So it's £20 cheaper, but I'd still rather this one in my collection. It looks really good fun. Okay, and I think this one reviewed really well. Uh, what else? Oh, Demolition Curl is £32. Love him or hate him. I just heard about this game first on... Uh, Metal Jesus Rocks uh, video. I know people think he's a bit of a con man, wasn't he? But I like his videos. I do. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks like a good fun time, you know. It's maybe a little bit on the pervy side. I don't know. It's currently £32. It's um, like a flying sim and sim game. And you're shooting this woman huge, like Godzilla size woman in a bikini. So, yeah, sign me up. That's £32, okay? Uh, what's next? Oh, Shinobi Do Way of the Ninja. This looks class. This looks like. gives me uh, like Tenshu kind of vibes. Um, Ninja Gaiden kind of vibes, I suppose. It's like. looks like. yeah, inspired by uh, Ninja Gaiden. So, Shinobi Do, that's. £30. Oh, right, I can't say this one. Uh, Bajingai Swordmaster. I think that was pretty close. Bajingai, we'll go with Bajingai Swordmaster. That's £22. Um, uh, this one looks like, if I'm thinking of the right game, another Devil May Cry inspired game, you know. 
Um, I think it was that one. Yeah, that's £22. Again, I haven't played. I'm not an expert. These are games that I um, I just want to add to my collection, okay? Uh, Gungra Gungrave Overdose. Uh, this is apparently the one. I've got the other one on the PlayStation 2. I've got the new one on Gungrave Go on the Xbox One. I still haven't played that. Um, but this one, I think, is the best. I've seen a playthrough of this. Um, it looks over the top. The gun that the character uses is absolutely ginormous. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a good, fun old time, you know. I don't know if it's a very long game. But it's, uh, yeah, I really am liking the look of this. That's £22. Oh, I nearly had this as well before. Shinobi. Uh, it's currently £18. And if I remember right, it was actually at one point £20. And uh, they had it in Cardiff CEX. And I asked, I was having terrible service. And the guy, I, he just looked like he had this worst hangover ever. And it was, I felt like apologizing to him because I was, I don't know, I just felt like I was interrupting his day. <laughs> That's the only feeling he gave me. And I said, oh, there's three games in the window that uh, I want to have a look at. And I pointed the first one out, can't remember what they were, I pointed the second one out, and he walked off. And I was, about to point out Shinobi, I was like, oh, he's gone. And I thought, oh, fuck, never mind then. So I'll get it again. So, yeah, it's coming on the decline now in price. So, yeah, Shinobi. I got this game on the DS, 3DS, sorry. That's good fun. This looks like a better version of that, okay? Uh, what's next? Oh, Spawn Armageddon. I don't think it reviewed very well, but it's remembered, very fondly remembered, okay? So I watched a, a couple of videos on this game over the years, and I just love the thing, when, I love YouTube. One of the many things I love about YouTube is the comments. It's like somebody's doing a like a retrospective review kind of thing on it, and saying it's clunky, it's this, it's that. It's gonna be, it's a PlayStation 2 game, you know? You can't compare these games to, to modern games but the amount of people saying oh this is my childhood we loved this game and they had all these nice stories about it uh, I didn't play it back in the day but yeah I want to add Spawn Armageddon to my collection that's currently £18 that's another one got a fantastic cover as well by the way it's another one we've never seen in the wild what's next uh, Raging Blades now I think this is it's not like a Devil May Cry, it's more of a, just like a hack and slash, um, like almost like a beat em up kind of game, like, I wouldn't say Streets of Rage, but it look, it like set in a fantasy world, um, if I'm thinking of the right game, okay, obviously if I see the, if I was going game hunting tomorrow, and I know the CX, or if I know a store's got it in stock, I'll do a bit more research. But if it's the game I'm thinking of, it looks a real good fun old time, you know. That's £18. What's next? Oh, I need to play these games. I've got no excuse why. Well, I haven't got time <laughs> to play it. Uh, Onushima 4. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Onushima 4. Uh, Dawn of Dreams. Uh, yeah, I think this is the last most recent one, isn't it? Um, I think these ones are available on the PlayStation Store, but I think they're around about that price. So I'd rather have a £15 or £15 digital. I would any day go physical, okay? I suppose the advantage of having it on the PS5 is I can stream it, um, but if it's the same price, I'd still rather have a physical because it's mine forever then, you know? There's nothing anybody ever can do <laughs> until this rot sets in. <laughs> yes, that's £15. Uh, what is next? Uh, Gundam Federation versus Xeon. This is, again, if I'm thinking of the right game, and we never see this game, okay? I think £15 really good because the Gundam games can be pretty pricey, can't they? It's a, like a third person shooter, basically. Um, I played a few Gundam games. Yeah, it looks really, really good fun. Um, over the top story and stuff like that. Yeah, I need to play that game. £15. Um, 
I think there was two Tenchu games came out on the PS2. I got the other one. But Tenshu Fatal Shadows is currently £15. Um, I don't know much more about it. Uh, it's a series I really want to get into. I've watched my favourite YouTube channel, Great Men Taking Over the World. Shout out Great Men Taking Over the World. Um, they've done a great uh, review uh, of the original game. Still need to get that out of my collection. I've got um, Tenshu 2. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy whatever one came out on the Xbox 360. So if there's anything like that, yeah, I'm in for a fun old time. Uh, oh, it's made by Sega. I didn't realise that. So that's £15. Um, Crimson Sea 2, £12. I don't know how this reviewed, but I've got Crimson Sea, the first one. I think I've got that. Yeah, I got that on the Xbox. I think it came out on Xbox and the PlayStation 2. Um, but yeah, for 12 quid. Um, if it's half as good as the first one, um, yeah, get in my collection, £12. This is one of the games, I had a funny one with this one, a Half-Life, £10. Now, I owned this game very briefly. I bought it on, obviously on the PS2 back in the day, when it was still current gen, but I think I bought it in game, I remember it clearly, I bought a couple of games, uh, they might have had like three, it might have even be three for £10 or something, right? So it's coming towards the end of the PlayStation 2 lifespan, okay? Maybe the PS3 might have been out. That's why I had it cheap, okay? And I was reading the back of the box. I Whatever I bought with it, Half-Life was like the game I thought, oh, I'll have that, it's better than nothing kind of thing. It wasn't like the, the star of the three for £10, all right? And it was French. It was a, the wrong disc was in there, and so I, it was obviously pre-owned. I was buying most of my PS2 games when it was current gen were pre-owned to save money. Um, and I remember taking it back. Uh, I took it back to game, and the guy was really rude. He said, "Well, the first mistake you made is you bought Half Life." On the PlayStation 2, not the PC. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Apparently, it's far superior on the PC. Well, you think... I think it was originally was a PS uh, a, play, a PC game. And they ported it, a version of it. Maybe a scale down. Like Deus Ex, for example. They scale it down, don't they? The uh, To run on the inferior hardware. And this guy clearly was a PC snob. And my first mistake was... You know, it's my fault. I made all these mistakes. Um, yeah, the first mistake he said was, you bought you bought it on the PS2. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, no wonder that store closed down. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's £10. But I'd rather have it in English, okay? Um, MDK2 Armageddon. That's £8. Futuristic. I think it's third person... Shooter. It looks like a good, fun, old time. I've watched reviews. I think the first one was very ambitious. It came out on the PlayStation. We pick it up quite a few times when we're out and about. Um, I want to get it, but I want a nice copy. The copy we tend to pick up is a bit, looks a bit tatty, you know. So it's not a bit expensive game. Like the second one's an only £8 game. It's one I've never seen. Um, but what I've seen of it is, again, one of these retrospective reviews they do on YouTube. Um, I thought it looked pretty good, so I think I'll enjoy that. So that's MDK2 Armageddon, £8. I think, is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last game. Seven Samurai 20XX is £6. It's like a hack and slash, 3D hack and slash game. Um, I th it's probably the story is a very modern, like in the year 20XX or whatever, 100, well, 99 years in the future or whatever. Um, the same story as Seven Samurai. But uh, yeah, I do like it. It's a good idea, actually. Good idea for a movie, actually. So yeah, for six quid. Again, we never see... I've never seen hardly any of these games in the wild, okay? So, let's do the let's do the maths. I totaled them all up, okay? So that's a total of... £598. So an average of £27.18. 
Yeah, so if they were cheaper games and more common games, I thought I would already it'd be on my shelf, okay? So I've got, I think, bang on 200 games already. So this is another one, like the PlayStation. If you watch my PlayStation version of this wishlist series I'm doing, um, I'm slowly, we're talking five plus years until I get all these games. If I wanted to add King of Fighters 98 and Raiden 3, <laughs> it boosts it up to £838. And yes, a lot of these prices, they're probably going to be more. So if I can add four or five of these games in 2024, great. But the PlayStation 2 is always one of those ones I go for. Like, for example, when I go in a CEX, I typically go for the... If there's... If it's like blind buy, I don't know what is in there. I haven't done my research, quite rare. But if I go in into CX right now, I'll go for Xbox because they're getting harder and harder to find. Then the next one I'll go for will be the PlayStation 2 because I think because of the same generation, it's only a matter of time before the Xbox in most CXs is down to one shelf, isn't it? But I'm noticing the PlayStation 2 is following suit. It used to be like a couple of bays. Now it's one or two bays, you know, so, um, yeah, that's my second one I always go for. So, you know, I might have to go the eBay, eBay route. There isn't a game in there that I'm super excited, like, i got to have it in my collection, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say, you know, King of Fighters 98 Ultimate Match, obviously that's a holy grail, that's a £150 uh, game there, you know, and I already own it anyway. And the advantage of having it on digital on the PS5 is I can play, I can see it, my Victrix Pro, I've got um, my Mad Cats T2, um, my Hayabusa runs on it, and I've got another Mad, yeah, I've got four, a choice of four different fight sticks to play, but on the PS2, my choices are, I've got the Neo Geo, that's a good, that's a good little stick, mind, uh, and can't really see it i got another one just down here my big street fighter anyway this isn't about my fight sticks um but this it, it makes more sense not to buy it because I'll, I'll have a better experience playing it on modern console all right um what else did i want to say yeah so don't worry i'm not going to go out and spend i haven't got 600 pound it's funny enough that's how much i need to spend on my motorbike to put it back to the way it should be so do i fix my motorbike up or do i have all these games you know what i mean um yeah it'd be very irresponsible of me to to buy all these games next year for example i wonder if i could survive a year has anyone done it it's a challenge now can i survive a year just eating dust what does it taste like dust just have like a bowl of dust i'll just buy dog food for my dog obviously <laughs> And then I'll just eat dust. Maybe I could. No, never mind. <laughs> no way. No, no, no. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to chip away. So if I can do, if I can, this time next year, so the end of next year, if I've got four or five of these games, I'd be very happy. That's good progress, you know. So if I've got a five-year plan to get all those games in my collection, that's more realistic, isn't it, you know? Yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know what games... Uh, you recommend but the chances are i probably i got all big hitters king of fighters games pretty much every fighting game i've got well i say all the king of fighters games apart from 98 or ultimate match that version all right there you go hope you enjoyed this video don't be feels like an old school video being this end of the games room you know yeah thanks for watching have a great day love you bye beep 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 beep